It's the 30th anniversary of Point Break, released in 1991, directed by Catherine Bigelow and starring Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze, co-starring Gary Busey. Reeves is an FBI agent going undercover to infiltrate a gang of surfers who might be bank robbers. Matt, what did you think about Point Point Break? This is my first time watching it. What did you think about watching it? I've seen it in clips before. Maybe I've never seen the whole thing all the way through. Maybe, but it's one of those movies that came out in 1991. It's about as old as me. I watched Point Break. We're going to be doing no um, spoilers here for the first few minutes. Overall, my through line with this movie is that watching this movie is a good, if not great time, but that doesn't make it a good movie. Uh, Mm. It's entertaining. It's got a lot of cool action. Uh, once again, without going into spoilers, you get a good mix of different extreme sports. There's some really cool action scenes that have a lot of weight to them. Uh, but the main core plot of Keanu Reeves' character, Johnny Utah, going out to catch these bank robbers, uh, it has buddy cop vibes that I like between him and Gary Busey's character, Papas, who's kind of like the old officer on the force. But when a lot of the more serious parts of the narrative come up, it just fell through for me, whether it was the 90s cheese uh keanu reeves doing his acting voice um or any other kind of like i said earlier the clues don't really come together it's kind of not the greatest detective story that said it was still fun to watch uh movie could have used like a 30 minute kind of edit down there because it was like two and a half hours when it could have been an hour and a half in my opinion but i still had a good time watching it whether or not i would rewatch it again or like go out and watch the remake that is supposed to be terrible Probably wouldn't, Um, but I was happy to watch it for this 30th anniversary. Matt, what did you think? Your first time watching it. Did Keanu sway you with his Utah? I fucking loved this movie. This was my first time watching it. I'd heard a lot about it, but I thought, I was like, what? They're surfing, they're shooting. that, That didn't sound appealing to me. And then I watched this, and yeah, Keanu's acting... He acts only like Keanu Reeves can act. There are some insane line deliveries here. He yes. he varies wildly from incredibly wooden to over the top well, delivery. The Keanu, when in his early movies, now you know Keanu is John Wick. You Keanu Reeves is himself when he's acting, but we as pop culture have accepted that and we're cool with it. We love we love Keanu. He's so wholesome. Uh, but in his early years, when he was young here and he was trying to act, he didn't act as the character. He acted as a louder Keanu Reeves. So he would go from doing the wooden stuff to, I'm talking loud because I am acting now. And this is my acting voice. And that stuff really started to grate on me. Still watching it, I was like, I love you, Keanu, but you're really trying hard at the acting thing right now and not sticking it. Uh, and I, I, I like I like this performance in it. I think it worked because I think the movie was. I accepted that it was going to be kind of campy. It was mm-hmm. sort of the last vestiges of like an '80s cop movie, but it yeah, re- yeah. I've heard it claimed as one of the first modern action movies in that it's it has like a great pace and energy to it. Keanu Reeves, though, what you get with him is an incredible physical actor. And I was rewatching yes. The Matrix a couple weeks ago. And I was really blown away by the way he moves, the way he like, even when he's doing the opening of the Matrix where he's in an office, the way he can like move his body and jump down, that's his strength. And in this movie, because we can also talk about how at one point Johnny Depp was considered for the role of Johnny Utah. And I was thinking, obviously Depp's a better actor. He could have gotten more into like the deepness of it. But what I like about Keanu in this movie, the guy can run. He looks so good in the action movies in that long chase scene. You believe him as a football player. I also think he's, this is why he works as Johnny Utah. Football player, you mean a surfer? Yeah, but he was originally a football player before he hurt his knee and then became an FBI agent and a football player. And and to get into the surfer gang, he's playing football with him on the beach. Which, okay, and I feel like this is, as we're going to bleed into spoiler stuff here, um, but as a last piece, I think this movie either works if you can accept the camp and understand like, okay, not everyone's firing on their highest cylinder, but you're in it for the experience, the having yeah. fun. Uh, but if the if the 90s era grading on you, like Matt was just saying, there's a scene with uh, Patrick Swayze and his buddies playing uh, football on the beach. Uh, at night. It's either, at, at night. It's either a one-off silly scene and you're like, all right, this is goofy and fun. Or you sit there and you go, this is way too much testosterone and weirdly machismo. And they're like, it's a waste of a scene, which is how I felt. Oh but I God, feel like really? it's very subjective for the viewer and the kind of mood you're in. Once again, that said, 
I had a good time watching the movie, but like for me, I would have cut that scene. For Matt, maybe it worked. That's how he better. gets in. That's uh, and, yeah. and it's and it's the first time he has a showdown with Bodie, where mm-hmm. Bodie's tackling him, he tackles him, they're running Let's, and. Uh... You want to jump into spoilers and let's get into like the meat of it? Well, before the spoilers, I could still say like overall, I think what this movie does so well is that there's so much action. Like you mentioned, there's a lot of testosterone, but Catherine Bigelow gives it this really like, uh, to me, emotional action where it's a lot of gray area. It's not just like black and white. Um, Bodhi, you know, you have your like traditional villain is seen in a good light. You've got Keanu Reeves who... um, is a member of the FBI, but they're kind of assholes to him. There's a lot of gray area. This this movie is all about like, are you just gonna be a wage slave? Uh, it's like in Fight Club, or are you gonna try to like mm-hmm. live free? And I think that that element underneath is so good. And then also the incredible act. There's so many fucking good action set pieces in this, from the bank robberies, from the raids on the house, uh, all the surfing. Well, we're getting to spoilers. Let's let's let's. Well, I'm not saying spoilers. anything that. Okay, sure, sure. True, the details are all right. Okay, before we get to spoilers, I would the totally recommend. recommend this movie. I would totally yeah. rewatch this movie. I think this is a absolute classic. Uh, it's exhilarating. I would say if you want some uh, schlocky 90s fun and you're in the mood to kind of watch a popcorn flick, Point Break is a great choice. Uh, like Matt said, it's a classic or considered a classic for some reasons. Not everything will vibe with every single audience member, so your mileage might vary. But I had a good time watching it. Once again, I don't think that means it's a great film as a story. But then again, some people just watch movies to be entertained and don't care if it's, you know, whatever. So if at the very least, I can say I smiled while watching it, as Matt put it, there is some action scenes in here that really are really quite remarkable. Um, But yeah, you know, I'm kind of on the fence. We'll get to that later when we give our official thumbs up, thumbs down scoring. But I would still recommend it. If I feel really like this movie movies. is, yeah, like this, the story stuff is kind of, it's very boilerplate. It's especially when, uh, the one character who plays a jerk in scrubs, their police chief, he has, yeah. he has a little rant at them that is just so, um, stereotypical of it. But what I think this movie is all about, it's a battle of charisma. It's Patrick Swayze is the most charismatic guy living on the edge and it's, uh, it's the sort of bromance and the chemistry between them and the action that carry the whole movie and, and rise above any of the story that might seem too simplistic. Sure. Sure. Uh, let's get into spoiler stuff. Now, uh, let me pull up my, my notes. I kind of have it just going down. The first thing that caught me, we talked about John wick a little bit and, uh, Keanu is like very physical acting. The opening credits is like a half cut between just nice surfing stuff. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Keanu Reeves being a, like John Wick doing this training course kind of thing. And that really set up the movie very well. Like from the first minute, you know what you're getting. You're getting surfing and you're getting cop shooting stuff. Uh, So at least I liked the opening credit scene Uh, is very 90s, you know, with Mm -hmm. the uh, the way the logo comes in and wow, a lot of the score too, the music selections, very late 80s, early 90s. Um, But I thought the beginning was cool. Uh, Of course, there's a lot of close ups in the beginning. I couldn't believe how close they shot everything. It gave it like a really intense feel. And what I liked about the opening is that they established Keanu as a pretty likable guy. The FBI are assholes. You don't quite trust them. And then they show the bank robbery as like, oh, these are good guys. They don't actually want to hurt anybody. They don't want to shoot anybody. I mean, bank robbery is something that. I think it's tantalizing because anyone could do it. We all go into yeah. banks. Anyone could put on a mask and just hold them up. And the way he says to them, all your money's insured. We're just robbing from the insurance companies in the bank. Yeah. Uh, I also like the visual of just all the different, they're called the ex presidents. They're the dead presidents or whatever. And they all wear, uh, you know, masks and clothing of different presidents. And they almost like take on the personalities of those presidents as they're robbing. So I thought that was a fun kind of thing. You can see probably where the inspiration for uh, b- bank robbing scenes from like the dark Knight came in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I enjoyed, I enjoyed that bit uh, as the movie drones on towards the end and gets into the, the robbers kind of uh, motivations. I think it fell apart a little bit, but in the beginning there, I did like that. They're not just some guys who are just robbing banks. They're like, no, we're doing it, you know, to, to give it to the man, which gave it a little bit more of a, uh, of weight. Um, I think the thing for me, the the buddy cop vibes in the beginning really carry it because you have Johnny Utah, Keanu Reeves character, who's 
like super baby face, like fresh mm-hmm. out of the Academy. And then you have Gary Busey's character who is kind of already grumpy, has a crazy theory about these strings of bank robberies and them kind of clashing and working together, uh, held it up in the beginning. And but Bu- Busey's did- not respected by the cops. The cops immediately hate Keanu as he comes in. Um, I liked that. And I liked that kind of set that up, but I felt that later on the buddy cop stuff was replaced by, uh, the the buddy between Bodie, uh, Patrick Swayze's character, and Keanu Reeves, that kind of bromance you were referring to earlier. Because yeah. very quickly, and they're like, we got these robbers. I have this crazy conspiracy theory. I think they're they're surfers because of question mark. You know, they have a different- The tan line. The tan line. Oh, what a clue. And then it kind of shifts into this, like Matt was saying, well, Keanu Reeves needs to become a server, surfer, go deep undercover. Mm-hmm. So he meets up with Patrick Swayze. A bunch of males- who are surfers. Um, they have one female friend played by Lori Petty. Her name is Tyler. And Keanu Reeves just falls in. You know, there's a training montage where he's learning how to surf. Um, I had mentioned earlier that Lori Petty's character, Tyler, is kind of this female character who's just there. She has like a sad backstory that her parents died um, early on in the movie. Keanu's like, I need to find a way in. So he looks her up, finds out that her parents died. And then he goes to her place of work and gives this sob story about how his parents also yeah. died, which is a lie. But you also learn about his backstory where he used to play for football, had his knee mess up. So he's he's telling her the truth and actually building a relationship with her, but also kind of betraying her. And that's when the kind of pieces of predictability started to fall for me is I could already see where the movie was going. Um, but I enjoyed kind of the whole surfing atmosphere uh, and this is also with those serious scenes where he's trying to build a relationship with Tyler, uh, Lori Petty's character. That's when I started to feel Keanu's acting yeah. kind of start to stumble. When when uh, he when later on in the movie when uh, he's trying to like win her back, that's yeah. when it's awful. When he's trying to, he's like, oh, he leaves a message. It's like, why phone. can't I say what I feel? It's well, and they do. They, they put they put scenes like that. There's maybe one or two, but they have sex on the beach. They yeah. have sex in the bed. It's far more of a physical romance, which I guess maybe makes sense for kind of the. They're surfers. They're in tune exactly. with their bodies. But and that dude, was but weird dude, it, too. It, it, okay, it doesn't matter about like the Busey relationship not being that great, or even the one with Lori Petty. Busey and Lori Petty aren't on the poster with Keanu. It's Patrick oh. Swayze and Keanu Reeves. That's, that's the movie. I, well, and that's where I get that. Okay, that's the movie. But when you base it on the idea of a detective story and that the I like following the clues, that doesn't serve anything more than just a vehicle for the action. So you get really cool yeah. bank robbery scenes, you get really cool stuff. But if you were interested and engaged by the Keanu learning things and trying to detective stuff out, that all call find it kind of falls flat and the movie itself kind of just goes, eh, whatever. Like, oh, we need to find out where the bank robbers are from so let's go cut hair off of some surfers like that would maybe in the 90s that would work um the other thing that was weird to me is that in the (laughs) keanu's learning to surf they're looking after a bunch of dudes who are bank robbing as surfers he falls in with with uh who's his face is uh yeah patrick swayze surfer gang and doesn't put that together that maybe they're the bank robbers instead they go down this track of chasing down well the nazi yeah the surfer. evil the evil nazi bank robbers with uh, anthony kiedis out, yes from uh from red hot chili peppers for a second there i was like is that anthony kiedis from red hot Ch-? and it was which i enjoyed that um and i think i think that's where i have the issue with the movie is that i just hold it to a higher serious level than it probably took itself like i'm batting against the script that doesn't care that it's kind of stupid um and those are the parts that were weaker for me but i still enjoy the action scenes so let's talk about some Uh, of the action i wonder if um yeah i mean that stuff just the action was so good and the charisma and the chemistry and and just the filmmaking i found so good that i could easily gloss over the the parts you know where the and also it was sort of campy and f- it was like cheesy in a fun kind of way for those parts. And also the pacing of it, I really liked. I, it didn't feel long to me. Although it definitely feels like it ends and then there's sort of like a prologue, which works. Sure. But uh, yeah, I think that just the star of the movie is is what Bigelow does and Swayze. And apparently James Cameron, uncredited, 
did a lot of script writing on this because he was married to Catherine Bigelow at the time. And I think that that really elevates it from, I think you can see where some of these parts that you're criticizing are probably the whole script before was like that, just like very boilerplate. Yes very uh, mediocre and then James Cameron went in put a bunch of pieces together and then just paced it out perfectly because like once you hit the hour mark and you have the end of the first climax and the rest period it mm. just goes crazy to the end like Aliens or Terminator 2 I have in my notes that the, the second half I have far many more notes on the first half of the movie because like you said towards the end they just kind of go this very big explosive everything's going crazy there's all sorts of set piece routes and it kind of clashes with the vibe of the first movie the first half of the movie. I guess the thing for me is that I was invested in Johnny Utah as a cop infiltrating the stuff. And to, so to see them, him and Busey continuously portrayed, whether intentionally or unintentionally, as just really dumb cops. Like Keanu Reeves is <laughs> yeah. holding his surfboard, walking into the police station. They're camping out in front he, of a bank dude, robbery. He couldn't, and he couldn't leave it, the board out. It would get stolen. It's too big in the trunk. Or his yeah. trunk was too small. It, it's those little moments. But, but he's um, also getting into that surfer lifestyle. Because as we see, Keanu Reeves is constantly... What I liked about Reeves in this role... What he lacks in dramatic line delivery, I believe that he could be seduced by Swayze. And Swayze oh, yeah. is so, we haven't even really talked about him. He's so genuine um, yeah. and so true that even though he's doing some things that are legal, you think like, yeah, I see your point. And uh, I think everybody has a little piece in them that wants to be sort of like wild and free. So with Reeves, I believe that he could fall under Swayze's spell. But I also believe that as we saw in the end, when he goes back to get his man that he would do that too and then also throw the fbi badge away when he's done like Keanu Reeves just he's kind of like like a it's dumb believable. dog yeah um, likable driven loyal before we get into the um the action like the big set pieces of the moment which really kicks off with about a raid scene about halfway through where they're raiding the, i was uh, the, i was pretty surprised by that i didn't think it was going to yes. be all that great but man it was super intense Wow. Uh, the only thing I want to say is that I didn't really like how they handled Lori Petty's character, t character Tyler, in the very beginning when they introduce her. Well, how she works within the surfer group, um, because when you first meet Patrick Swayze's character, he comes out of the surf yeah. and uh, Tyler, Lori Petty's character is like, oh, I know him. And they kiss. Yeah. And that makes Keanu Reeves a little jealous. But then like two scenes later, they go to a party and Swayze is basically like, you can have her, dude. Like, what's mine is yours. And I'm like, are they in an open, like, fluid relationship? They don't really ever They used to, that. Dude, they used to be together, but it's all free love. He's like, she yeah. was my woman. Then we, because she says to him, because he, he tells her, did you replace me? And she's like, you've been gone for a while. So yeah, he yeah. gets it. That's how cool he is. That's how cool he is. He can walk up and kiss your girl and then invite you to his party, make out with another girl and be like, yeah, have fun. Because well, Bodie's Petty's not jealous at all. It seemed like uh, Tyler, Lori Petty's character, was a little jealous because when uh, Swayze was hanging on that other girl and he, I think they kissed her something, she was she like, says, I, I taught, taught him that. Metric. <laughs> and she goes, ooh, I like it. You know, it, so that was, I guess that's why the romance was a little weird for me. But Oh yeah, the, the, romance, the romance is, um, I never really felt like Keanu Reeves and Lori Petty had enough moments where they really bonded. Probably Which is why the end is a little... Yeah, we're know. like, oh, you really care that much? You just met this person... And, and you're going to go fine. rob a bank and yeah. What well, was cool right. about Lori Petty is that she was more sort of androgynous and she was an unexpected cool female lead at the time. Yeah. But yeah, their, really their, their part was character. totally underwritten. Um, But yeah, that raid scene, uh, there is parts of this movie where if, you know, you're just watching it casually, you'd be like, it's a PG movie. If you remove the F words and some of the sexual content, it's not super. But once they do this raid scene where they're breaking into this house where there's these other surfers, there's people getting shot in the face. Anthony Kiedis shoots his own foot off with a shotgun. Uh, Keanu Reeves fucking punts a dog. He yeah. straight up kicks a dog, which my Because the dog gets happy. thrown at him. You ever seen that in a movie? A dog getting thrown at somebody. It's hilarious. And he just punts the thing. Um, but there's, towards the end of the rage scene, there is like a 1v1 Keanu versus another dude. And there's like a lawnmower that's in play. Yeah. And he's trying to shove Keanu. And for that, like, the feeling of consequence and danger was really still there haven't figured because they just amped it up so much for that raid scene. I felt the danger for all of them in that scene far more than I felt the danger of like Keanu failing to surf and almost drowning in the very beginning of the movie. Totally, totally. Yeah, that that um, was that really surprised me how much tension they had building up into that house because it's 
because Busey doesn't really know what's going on. He doesn't realize that they have all these guns. The cops are yeah. all around the house. Keanu Reeves shows up late to it. Busey's kind of mm-hmm. talking to this chick at the door, and you're you're he we're was seeing sex with her on the beach. Yeah, Remember he's right. he, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, go to work. Go I'm gonna be, and he's he's starting to understand the allure of the surfer lifestyle. Right. He's happy to be late for the first time. And yeah, actually, that's Hard a good point because it's sort of you know if you're dabbling in something outside of your normal life. The first warning sign is like, oh, are you missing your responsibilities? But Busey's talking to this girl at the front. We, the audience and the other cops are seeing that these guys are loading up. They have serious guns in the back. Oh, yeah. And then they're, not, they're and, and you're so worried, like, because these guys are saying, if that guy comes in the door, I'm going to shoot him, man. If Busey, Busey could get killed. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been surprised if Busey got his face blown off. In that totally. Scene. Now, what's yeah. so cool is that you, we see that Bodie and his gang, they treat Lori Petty as an equal the female surfer mm-hmm. um yep. they're like very uh they're very free you know like feminist you might call them whereas these guys the girls are sort of like naked in the shower it looks like yeah you kind of get the vibe that all these guys are having sex with these girls and when Busey well, busts in it care. and they shoot him they shoot the girl <laughs> oh yeah and it's not like Busey holds her there as cover they just start shooting and no, hit her Busey, Busey even says half jokingly uh like oh you made me kill a guy i really hate it when you make me kill a guy like Busey is or and he even congratulates i think johnny earlier in the movie for shooting or, or maiming somebody so Busey has like that weird kind of like angry cop vibe on him mm-hmm. um once again all of that kind of dissipates as soon as we get into the climax of the movie where now um they realize uh, patrick swayze and his gang realize that keanu reeves is an fbi agent he's ousted himself um instead of killing him or doing anything since keanu reeves kind of lets patrick swayze's character run away there's a big chase and he goes oh i'll let you go because i messed up my knee i could shoot you but i'm gonna let you go and pretend that i was shooting at you uh, then he gets a call and they're like, come do a bank robbery with us. It's not like that, but as the audience, you kind of know where the story is going and they use Lori Petty's character. Hey, if you don't do this bank robbery with us, yeah. we're going to kill her. And well, first, 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 they go, first they go uh, skydiving, which is weird. Yeah. So he's chasing after them. Earlier. They're having this incredible foot race and they, yep. uh, they had like modified and used this, like really, it was very new at the time, the way that they could film this holding these it, cameras it was filmed really well. Yeah. Cause they're, uh, they called it like a pogo camera and the cameraman had a, had like a stick or something above his camera. Cause he couldn't actually see it just to have an idea of what he was filming. So he's it's running nineties like GoPro. Yeah. It's like so groundbreaking at the time. Incredible yeah. chase. Reeves is chasing after him, drops down, hurts the knee, and then that's as Bodie's climbing the fence. He looks back. He knows that Keanu could shoot him, and he sees, oh, it's Keanu, this guy that's been infiltrating our gang. Oh no! And that's when Reeves just shoots in the air. So the next morning, he comes in, Bodie face to face, and says, "Let's go skydiving." And they have this sort of like pass the shoot around, like, "Oh, I track this shoot. Maybe use this shoot. Maybe use this shoot." Good suspense. Good suspense. And uh, apparently, Patrick Swayze was. In one of the scenes where he jumps out of the plane, that's him jumping out of the plane. Oh, yeah. Both Keanu and Patrick Swayze didn't really. I mean, I think there were some stunt doubles for some stuff, but uh, Keanu took up surfing for this movie, still does it as a hobby. Swayze had done skydiving before and surfing. He did almost all that and refused to have a stunt double. So like the action. And once again, this is 91. So you don't have like a lot of CGI, like a lot of the explosions, a lot of the shootouts, a lot of the chase scenes. It's all real and physical special effects. So to see them do it, Uh, And that's why I say, even though I'm not into the story at the core, like watching them jump out of a plane and do this kind of tantum skydive thing is still pretty cool to watch. Like all things, you know, regarded, Mm -hmm. um, you know, like one of the few effects they had in this film, you know, the lawnmower that's going towards Keanu Reeves head during the house raid when they have him down, you notice that's, that's obviously a push mower. Yeah. So they just. Uh, added like some stuff on it and like a fake engine and a bunch of sounds to make it sound like it, it was a real bar. Yeah. It still worked though. It worked. Um, what, did, what did you think about the end here uh, at the kind of the whole, the whole ending was for me, it kind of just bops around in my head. I know that there's, there's a, the, the bank robbery where they make Keanu go in without a mask on. There's this mm-hmm. whole climax, but what really sticks out to me is what I have in my notes as uh, the last of us Two fight on the beach. Um, totally. Is, I was thinking the same thing too. Yeah. It's all post story. But before we get into that, that epilogue, as you mm-hmm. said, um, I thought the wrap up there at the end was good. That's when it shined for me. You have, you can tell Patrick Swayze is kind of really after the money because they have that last bank robbery. It's already gone wrong. Uh, they mentioned earlier in the movie, the reason they keep getting away is because they're in and out. They never go for yeah. the vault. They're just getting, 
And this time, the last robbery of the season before it's time for next summer, um, they go for the vault and like two of them die. Uh, they, they're, they're waiting to get word from some guy in the desert, uh, that, that, that Patrick Swayze's character has landed nicely. And the whole kind of idea of we're doing this for fun for just like stick it to the man kind of goes out the window because then Patrick yeah. Swayze starts disregarding the safety of his friends exclusively just so he can get the money on the ground. And yeah, get I, 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 that was the, a part of the movie I didn't like. I, be, yeah. I never felt why all of a sudden right now Patrick Swayze goes against the plan and goes into the vault. It's it, like it felt kind of unnecessary, but I guess they wanted to go. How can we make it so these guys get shot at? What's going to be the problem? What they yeah. could have done is that okay, well, here's a variable. You're forcing Keanu Reeves to be a part of the gang. He could have been the monkey in the wrench, and it could have been because of him that your friends die. I thought yeah. I thought them going for the vault seemed sort of needlessly excessive. Yeah, and this is kind of where I said earlier on it's predictable. Not that I knew every single story beat, but at a certain point I said, okay, they're going to leverage Keanu's relationship. They're yeah. going to either make him, they're going to train him and make him do a bank robbery with them. It's all going to go south at some point. Just how will it end? And then we get the the ending that many people refer to, um, like we were just talking about, the Last of Us 2 beach scene. Matt, did you want to bring us up to that? Um, yeah, I really like that it, one where, so, so Swayze has, has gone. After after no after the second skydiving scene, he's yeah. gone on a on a jeep. He's out of there, and Keanu, Keanu Reeves has been following him around the world. We find out because he's also a fugitive now too. He's wanted yeah. for bank robbery <laughs> for murder. So Yikes. he. Uh, but earlier in the movie, Bodhi talks about the fifty year storm, man, when nature shows us that the we're, giant we're wave, giant waves in Australia. So he goes to Australia. Goes towards the beach, the Australians like, ah, now it'll be, now it'll be surfing out there. See it's you death on a stick right there. Death on a stick. So yeah. then he goes down, he sees Swayze. What I fucking love about it is where Keanu comes up to him and speaks in Californian. You gotta go down. You cross the line. People trusted you and they died. What Sway- up, man? Swayze says, yeah, it went bad. It went real bad. Still surfing? <laughs> <laughs> Keanu goes, Every day, <laughs> they're just yeah. right back at it. Like to Swayze, he's so his whole life has led up to this moment. Yeah. Fifty year, like yeah, yeah, people died. Uh, he actually genuinely cares if his friend has been surfing. So yes. they have this fist fight. Swayze looks like he's gonna win. He's got him under the water, yeah. but Keanu cuffed him on the way up. Keanu's got oh. him. All the cops are the Australian cops are coming in. The operation yeah. is a success, and Swayze one last time uses the charisma and says, you can't put me in a box, man. You got to let me go out there and have one last ride. And he lets him go. Keanu spends probably like years, I would imagine, looking for him. He has long hair. It's been at least a year. And then just lets him go. Well, and, I'm, actually, and I'm thinking, like, how's he going to explain that? Because the cops come up and they go, you let him go. And Keanu goes, no, no I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. Oh. They're like, yeah, you did. He's like, he's going to his death. Really, like it a would, five-year-old? It would have had to been within the same like three or four month period because they were referring to the 50 year storm that oh, okay. year. Okay. Okay. So I guess now that I think about it, yeah, yeah. But I did like the ending. You have the line where, where Keanu says, Vaya con Dios, which is really, you know. Go with God. And I think that is kind of a perfect encapsulation of this movie. Like that moment, either you laugh out loud at or it kind of weirdly hits for you on an emotional level. And that's kind of why I'm half and half on this movie is like a lot of, a lot of stuff worked for me, but a lot of stuff I was also like, dude, that is, that is remarkably dumb and remarkably poorly written. That's, uh, that's why after, right after that last moment, cause the cops are like, well, oh, we'll get him when he comes in, when he comes back and characters, he's not coming back. And then back. bam, credits, crazy yeah. rock music. Yeah. That's the tone of it. That's it was an interesting movie. Uh, before we wrap up everything, what did you think about the music? Because it was very much uh, soundtrack. You know, it wasn't like originally scored. There was some kind of scored stuff in there. But a lot of the things that pointed or that stuck out were those 80, 90s hits. Um, I thought it worked for the vibe of the movie. Uh, yeah. You have a lot of these old movies that the soundtracks come out and they really date it. Mm-hmm. Um, but vibed with the surfer kind of lifestyle, that grunge kind of no care uh, sort of thing. So I, I really enjoyed the the classic hits if you will Jesus interesting because i didn't um really that I, I, those didn't really resonate with me when i think about the music in it i mean i like the idea of them having stuff that they would hear on the radio or be playing on yeah. a boom box or their sony walkman 
But for me, it was the, like you said earlier, the late 80s, early 90s. Um, that's kind of synthy score, uh, a lot of kind of like MIDI fake sounding strings and stuff, which I think worked fine because it was very sparse, very sparing. Yeah. I think it, I think it worked well with what uh, Bigelow was doing, and it it wasn't insisting upon itself. It wasn't like so in your face. It was just there to kind of set the like pacing and the tension. There is one scene, and it's the scene when. Um, Keanu first goes and talks to Lori Petty's character at the place that she works. And there's a song playing in the background. It's like a sad love song. And they keep replaying like one line. I can't remember what it is, but in the moment it sounded, it it was like you're saying, it was very much trying to inform on the scene and you'd hear the lyric and you're like, I get what you're doing guys. That song lyric is the thing that's happening. But other than that, like you said, I enjoyed um, that the music was of its time. I think when movies try to go for soundtracks instead of just, you know, whatever your kind of standard orchestral stuff, um, they can either falter or really subsist. When you look at things like Guardians of the Galaxy, which, by the way, we are doing every Marvel movie on the Matt and Matt Reviews channel. So check that one out. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is good. But you can have that equal like loss if the, if the songs don't really hit. So I, I was mm -hmm. surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did. But cool. yeah. Point Break 30th anniversary. Matt, were you glad you watched it? Man, I am so glad I watched it. I was yeah. so I was in a great mood to watch it. It floored me time. when I I had to watch Avengers after this, and I was yep. worried that I enjoyed this so much that mm -hmm. I wasn't going to uh, be invested enough in the Avengers, which is a big yep. moment. It's capping off the end of our Phase One review. So stay which tuned. You, if you want to see what Matt thought of Avengers, check out that video as well. We'll have a playlist uh, on the other channel. Um, but I think yeah, this movie's amazing. I think it Let's still holds up. Day. I can't believe they made a remake. There's no way you can recapture this because this is all charisma. Patrick Swayze blows this movie away. Keanu Reeves is just holding on. And I like Gary Busey a lot. Gary Busey's Surprise. amazing in this. I mean, yeah. he's become such a kind of like a joke and a meme. I think he had a head injury or something. So yeah, something, uh, this know. was before that. So he's. I really liked his performance. And oh, I really yeah. like John C. McGinley. I don't want to undercut him because, like Matt said earlier on, he does kind of just play the same character, the angry guy from Scrubs. He almost does that exact same delivery, but he really feels like that kind of character sets the tone well that the FBI are a bunch of, you know, uh, for lack of a better term, they got something up their butt. They're always uh, strung up, they're always super serious. And John C. McGinley's performance really nailed that. So I was surprised. Well, that John, when John C. McGinley was welcoming Keanu Reeves. And he's like, why are, why are you here? Guess we had a uh, asshole shortage, eh? And yeah. he says, apparently not yet. <laughs> There's, I think this is a fun one. I think this is definitely not the last uh, old Keanu Reeves movie we'll do. Definitely not the no, last. No, no, no. We should do Speed. He's so good. Yes. That, you know, and he was pretty new. I mean, this is the first big action movie that he had done. Whereas yes. now he's a legend of action. We, you know, because, but he killed it in this. I mean, he was basically just in like probably Bill and Ted's and not much Bill else before Ted. this. Would you, be would you have liked this Ted. better with uh, Johnny Depp? No, I still like Keanu Reeves, but I think it's because I like Keanu Reeves now. And so I can forgive, like you said, some of those plot things, but it's kind of, it's like it, watching your friend in a play. You know? Exactly. We all like Keanu. He's fun. So okay. I wouldn't want Johnny, Johnny Depp. Plus I, I think it worked between him and, and and Patrick Swayze, let's give it the old signature thumbs up or thumbs down, Matt. I'm gonna you're gonna go two thumbs up, guys. I'm going with the shaky arm. This is this is yeah. I know Matt's disagreeing, guys. This is one of the first times me and Matt have actively disagreed. And here's look, my review. Oh, okay, for me, it's it's just two fingers up. I'm gonna do this. Don't make me. No, I'm just kidding. It's I think it's worthwhile if you have a few friends together. It's a good summer movie. Uh, if you're not too worried about getting deep into some like true detective or you know crazy detective story it's a fun watch um just don't expect too too much and you'll be good matt's over here like why are you telling people it's gonna be garbage just watch the best movie of the 90s watch this movie and so you can see that matt's just uh, embarrassed he doesn't know how to watch swim. it watch it and then i hate the water watch it come back comment below let us know if i'm right if matt's right or if neither of us are right and we're completely crazy but definitely check out the rest of our videos there's only one the thing we can movies. say now matt via Con Dios. Dios.